Hello, and welcome to another video. Today, well, let's give you a story first. Let's say you had a zucchini, a golden zucchini, and it was just about ripe, ready to be sliced up and fried. And you decide that you're going to go on a little trip to Michigan for three or four days. And you forget to harvest. And this happens. We well, really can't, you know, fry that up because that's some hard skin there. So I guess you're left with one thing to do. Let's make some zucchini bread. Okay, well, first off, let's get this a little more manageable. Okay, that's a little bit easier. Let's set that up there. First off, we want to whisk together our dry ingredients for this. Okay, in this bowl, we already have our three cups of flour. And then this, we have all of our little spice goodness. Man, that smells good. Colors are nice too. So in here we've got one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Let's get those all nice and whisked together. Now, you know, when I was making this, I'm, I'm sitting here going, okay, it says mixture of dry ingredients. Uh, there's dry ingredients on the other side, too. But, whatever. The recipe calls for it, so we'll call these the dry ingredients. Now, let's slide that out of the way. Next, we'll do the wet ingredients. In the bowl already... I've got one and one third cup of sugar. We're gonna mix in two large eggs and two teaspoon of vanilla extract. I already got this here. Let's mix those eggs up right in the bowl. Have your attention, please. Oh. Let go, egg. Let go. Go to your home. Don't you like your home? Okay. It likes the whisk. So, it's going to stay on the whisk. I say that, and then it... it, 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 oh, uh, it. <laughs> okay. That finally came off. Let's set that over there. Pour this in here. Oh, I almost forgot. If you're not using salted butter, then you need to put a teaspoon of salt in this. I already did. I mixed it in with the sugar. All right, let's get this mixed together good. The wet ingredients. Okay, next we're going to put in our zucchini. Now, you need three to four cups of zucchini. I went ahead and uh, grated that. That was probably a little more than half of that big zucchini. And then I squished it between two bowls to try to get all the moisture out of it. Um, so then you have kind of almost like a spaghetti um, squash type of look. Let's put that in next. And what was left over that squash? I will probably use this weekend. I am going camping and we'll put them in like a foil pack with some butter and just let those cook in the fire. Okay, once you have your zucchini in there, you want to pour in three quarters cup 
of melted butter. Unsalted or salted? I'm using unsalted, so I added salt to the mix. And mix. Okay, got a little egg on my hand. Next, we're gonna to wanna to put these two together. It says that you should do it a third at a time, but I'm not really known for my patience. As long as you mix well and hold the bowl up to make sure that there's no dry ingredients still in the bottom, you should be fine. Okay, now we want to get our two buttered bread, pans, dishes, glassware, whatever you want to call it, and we want to put half in each. Let's see how much of a mess I can make. Let's just stand up for this. Okay, now clean up, but we need to get these in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes or more. A lot of times I find that it takes a little bit longer than what it said. So use your toothpick knife. However, once you put it in the center of this and it comes out clean, they're done. So let's do that. And there you have it. Out of the oven. Smelling. Oh, so delicious. The hardest part is going to be not eating a whole one right now. The smell is awesome. Zucchini, it's not that hard to grow. You can get it at farmer's markets. Uh, fruit stands, food stands. You can get them at Myers if you have to, but really there's got to be someone around your area that can have one. You can make these, fry them. A couple other things you can do with them. All right. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you learned something. Maybe uh, you can try making zucchini bread. If you like this video, please click the like button. If this is the first video you've seen and you'd like to see them all, um, don't want to miss any that are coming up, click the subscribe button. Thanks again. I hope to see you on the next one.